Would you like to win one of these travel watercolor sets? Watch the video for details. Hi, Travel Coach Clara here, and today we're going to be looking at two portable watercolor pan sets. Both of these are from Windsor Newton. They're the Cotman series, which is the student grade. And one is the field set, and the other is the pocket field set. So I'm going to be comparing the two of them together to uh, help me figure out which one I want to take. I'm going to be traveling uh, as a global nomad carrying one 35 liter, which really carries 40 liters worth of gear, um, just to truth in advertising, <laughs> um, backpack, carry on only uh, for my uh, upcoming travels. So I couldn't figure out which one. I thought when I ordered them and they showed up, it would be pretty clear once I had them in my hands and that was not the case. So. Um, I'm going to compare them for you uh, in case you're looking at something like this and it can help you decide. We're first going to look at the field set. It's the larger form factor here and uh, it has 14 colors in it. The other set has 12 colors. So. This opens here like this. This is a little water container here. It has a small brush. This is a number five. Comes with a little cover for it. And it's short, but doable. And it's a, a traditional handle material. And then it has the 14 colors in here. And it has mixing spaces here. And if you pull this out, You can come up with a couple more mixing spots and you can also come up with this nice little thumb holder so you can hold it like that. So this is pretty small, nice and slender, All right, it's not real big. My hands are not real big. I wear like a size six and a half ring. Um, so that is the Cotman watercolor field set. This is the Windsor Newton Cotman field pocket set. The first one was just a field set. This one has the addition of the word pocket in the name of it. While I'm taking this out of the box, I will show you the palette of 12 colors that comes with it. It's the exact same 12 colors that are in the field set. Uh, the field set has two additional colors. So. Okay, so here is the pocket field set. And um, as you can see, it's thicker than the other one, but it's smaller otherwise. Um, so it's uh, about the size of one of those uh, original, well, not original, but probably second or third generation mobile phones way, way, way back. <laughs> um, it has this cap on the top that serves as a water reservoir, so it's pretty big. And you can fit a fair, fair bit of water in here, more than you could in the regular field set. Um, it has a flask here. I'm going to open this up. So this is a little flask. This is the paintbrush. It is metal. And it just goes like that. So it is a little bit slick. So if it's hot and your hands are sweaty or something, it's and it's a tiny bit shorter. It's maybe about the width of my finger shorter than the other one but it does house right in there. This is the water flask. Okay. And that has a color mixing area right on top of it. This folds down, gives you another color mixing area. And then this folds out and you get another mixing area. So you've got three mixing areas with this. This does come with a sponge. I'll be honest with you, it feels a bit weird to me. Once it finally gets wet, it'll probably be okay. And then it has the 12 colors. Um, so I like this for a number of reasons. Um, you've got water with you all the time, even though you probably have a water bottle or something, but still, you've got water with you. Good little cup here. Um, and I just like the size of it. I don't care for the material of the paintbrush, but I get, you know, they had limited space. I, you know, I don't know why they couldn't have made that bigger and just put the other paintbrush in there, but um, they didn't. So 
it's got a little finger holder back here. So you can just put it on your finger and hold it up like that. So um, it's, a, it's a good little set, I believe. They're half pans, both sets are half pans. So that is the field pocket set. So like I said, keep watching and there will be a comparison card at the end that shows their uh, dimensions, including the weight between the two, the field pocket set and the field set. So one of the things I thought when I got these, I thought it would be pretty clear which kit would be the good one for me. Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> so um, the field set versus the pocket field set, I thought, well, let me go to my new waste pack, which I absolutely love. Um, and see which one of these, you know, they both fit, which one fits, what have you. So here's my waist pack, and I love this thing. It's, it's very trim, slim, uh, compact, but yet it holds quite a bit of stuff. I've got a, another video I'm going to be dropping that shows just how much I fit in this little waist pack. Um, I love this waist pack. It's an anti-theft waist pack. So um, this front little pocket here, see if this fits in there and that fits pretty with no trouble whatsoever it will not stand up in here it's too tall to stand up in that front little pocket the field set will yep it'll just fit in here just barely it's a little bit of fiddling so not the best not the best for this front pocket So let's look at the back pocket, which is bigger, so they're both going to fit, I think. The field pocket set fits in standing up, plenty of room. And the field set definitely fits that direction, and it fits this, yep, it fits both directions. So that's really not much help in deciding which kit's going to come along with me. Um, this is a fantastic uh, waste pack if you're looking for a great uh, anti-theft waste pack that will hold a Kindle Paperwhite 11th edition with a bumper case without being gigantic. This thing is fantastic. So uh, watch for a video on this if you're interested in a waste pack. That did not help me with my decision. <laughs> Would you like to win one of these travel watercolor sets? Enter the contest. Contest ends on September 19th, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You must be an active subscriber to my channel and you must post a comment stating which of the two sets that you would prefer and you also must be willing to provide a United States mailing address if you're the winner. Contest rules are in the description below along with links to the products. I have come up with what I think is going to be a nice little hack to turn this into a 14 color set. Um, so watch along with me and we'll see how this goes. Pop the cap off of it, water reservoir, open it up. I'm gonna take the sponge out and I'm gonna let the sponge live in here from now on. There's plenty of room for it to cap. It only has to go over this. Okay, so I've got my 12 colors and look at this. Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going, people? See where I am headed? Obviously, I will need to buy some colors if this works out, but uh, we are going to take, let's take this pink one here and see if it fits. Look at, look at that. We now have a 13 color set right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's see if we can get one in here. Seems like the same color, but that's okay for purposes of demonstration. Let's throw this guy in here. If you think it's going to fit, people, <laughs> cross your fingers. My plan may be somewhat foiled. Doesn't seem like it wants to fit that easily. Ha <laughs> And there, took a little finagling, but you know, we are intrepid. So now there are 14 half pans in this little kit. So let's make sure that it still works with the cap on. Okay. 
look at that look at that all right uh, so the brush is the only thing that I'm missing and I don't really see a way to get this brush in there <laughs> if some of you MacGyver types can figure out how to get this brush in this kit without messing it up <laughs> I'm all ears it won't fit there uh, if they had made that groove and that flask go all the way down then you could have this paintbrush in here, which I think is a superior paintbrush. I would prefer to travel with this than this. I might just get something along this line and put it in my little pencil bag to go with my sketches and stuff. But uh, not my sketches, but my sketch pencils and that sort of thing. So I think we have picked the Winsor Newton Cotton and Pocket Field set and then just purchasing two additional pan colors. Um, to go with it to make it a 14 color set. If you have any tips uh, or tricks for beginner watercolors, especially uh, those who, of us who are gonna be out on the road traveling and trying to learn at the same time, by all means, drop them in the comments. Thanks very much. If you wanna help me grow my channel, my channel, uh, feel free to subscribe.